I'm the Godless Engineer, and today on Did Jesus Exist, I want to educate you guys on the finer points of uh, some of the contemporary historians at the time that really should have noticed a Jesus figure or Christianity in general. First up is Seneca the Younger. He was a contemporary Roman historian who should have noticed uh, Christianity or a Christ-like figure during his lifetime. There are basically three reasons why Seneca should have noticed this motherfucker. For one thing, he had nothing to say about the biggest ethical shakeup of his time, even though he's the head motherfucker uh, writing about Roman ethics. He should have noticed that shit. In one book, he wrote about natural events that occurred during his lifetime, and, and there was no mention of a star of Bethlehem, of earthquakes, or of a three-hour mysterious darkness either over the whole world or just the fucking region. In another book, he rails against every single fucking religion of his time to include Judaism, yet there's no fucking mention of Christianity or Christ? Doesn't that strike you as a little bit odd? Because during this time, Christianity was supposed to be growing like, like, like a fucking weed. Seneca, he proves to be a big problem for later historians trying to prove a historical Christ. Augustine had a pretty big fucking problem with, uh, with Seneca here, because in Augustine's book, City of God, he actually bitches a whole lot about how Seneca didn't mention Christ at fucking all. Like, not one goddamn word about Christ. And so, what Augustine tries to do in the book is he tries to explain why Seneca didn't mention Christ at all, making, making up these excuses for him. And apparently it fucking worked. Seneca was not only important to Augustine, though. He was important to other early Christian apologists. He was so fucking important, in fact, that they forged letters from him to the Apostle Paul. Now, I ask you this. If, if the evidence for historical Christ is so fucking good now, then why are they having to forge shit like Flavius Josephus and now Seneca? Why do they have to forge shit if there's such good evidence to, to, to suppose a historical, physical Christ figure? Especially, especially with the notion that Christianity was growing like an uncontrolled fucking disease at this point. Seneca's silence on Jesus is further fucked by the fact that his brother, Lucius Janaeus Gallio, was actually in the fucking Bible. He was in that shit. He was the motherfucker that tossed out Paul's uh, trial and, and, and let him go. It seems very odd to me that even though uh, Seneca was known to be interested in religions of his time, uh, that his brother wouldn't even fucking bring up the one time that he actually encountered a fucking Christian. That would be something that you would think that they would discuss, even in just common fucking conversation. And it's not just, well, why didn't he tell his brother about Jesus? No, it's the fact that at the time, Christianity was said to be growing. And as a result, they were persecuting and trying to silence the Christians and stop them from growing. If there was any actual, actual force out there that was looking to silence and persecute these Christians... Don't you think that would come up in some kind of conversation somewhere? Not just in Seneca, but in elsewhere too. But yet, we don't see a word from Seneca about Jesus or Christianity in general. We have nothing. Nada. Another thing to consider with Gallio is the, the supposed time that Acts was penned versus the time when, when Gallio was actually in a position to pardon Paul. Now, uh, Gallio was in this position uh, around 51 and 52 CE, while Acts wasn't penned until uh, between 80 and 90 CE, although some historians uh, have gone so far as to suppose that maybe it wasn't written until 110 CE. So what you're talking about here is about 30 years of oral tradition being written down at some point. And that's at its most conservative time frame. So, uh, have you ever played the fucking phone game, like, at all? 
you know, that's that game where you line up in a line and uh, the person on one end whispers something to the person next to him. And then when it gets down to the end, the person at the end yells out, you know, what he heard. And it's never the thing that you fucking think it is. It's never the thing that it starts out as being. I could start over here with, hey, I fucked your mother. And it could end up over there like, hey, let's have lunch. That, that's what it could end up like. And, and, and so you can't sit there and take a 30-year-old oral tradition, write it down, and think that it's spot-on accurate like it's a first-hand uh, eyewitness account. That's just fucking ridiculous. Not to mention the fact that you would be succumbing to circular reasoning by using the Bible to validate the Bible. So in summary, Seneca the Younger had multiple reasons to notice Christianity or a Jesus-like figure during his lifetime, yet we don't see a fucking word about it. His brother really fucks over this idea that, that he could have just skipped over Christianity or not seen it or not mentioned it because the Bible itself indicates that Gallio uh, had direct contact with the Christian, so he should have have fucking told his brother like because he knew his brother was interested in that shit but yet we don't see that at all we we don't see any of it and and, and so that 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 is just a very curious contention about this whole idea that there was a historical christ because because simply people would have noticed him People would have noticed the growing Christianity was supposedly, you know, growing at such a rate that that would make, you know, most viruses these days like admire it. I'm the Godless Engineer. If you like my series on whether or not Jesus existed and my evidence uh, for it, please hit subscribe below and uh, continue following me on this journey through questioning the existence of Christ. Don't forget to like and comment below. I always love reading your comments and responding to you. Uh, whenever I do get enough good comments built up, I usually make a video of re responding or reacting or answering questions. So please feel free, go down below, comment, and uh, I will answer and react to the good ones. <laughs> um, don't forget... Uh, I have started up a new interview type show on secular TV. Uh, it's going to be occurring every Friday night. Uh, if you feel that your story is pretty unique or, or you would like to be interviewed, uh, please feel free to contact me either here or on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, wherever you would like to contact me at. Uh, I would really like to get to interview uh, not just big name people, but you know to everybody that has an interesting story and wants to get their their story out there. I think that you need to be heard. So please contact me uh, any of those places, and uh, we can look at setting up an interview. Please tune in next time on Did Jesus Exist when uh, we further discuss why he probably didn't. <laughs> and as always, don't forget to...